uh, definitely. Um, especially when I'm done with school because uh, things, things getting, you know, things here are just getting a little, uh, a little too hectic. Absolutely. Yeah. That's the truth. Yeah. Um, yeah. What, what would you, uh, let's see, what, what is, what is your like reason? You know, I mean, you, you, you see both sides of the fence. Uh, similar to like I do. Yeah. What what is what is your reason that made you more keen to go like MGTOW and stuff like that? Because this country is fucking like, crazy and the bitches are out of their minds and the laws are set up to destroy me. Sure. Do I need any other uh, fucking reasons? <laughs> like, is, is, do I need? Right. Uh, okay. okay. Well, okay. So I guess I guess I guess what I wanted to turn into yeah. was if you, if you if you had been you know uh, like in Lebanon still your whole life. Yeah. Uh, would you? Would you have walked down the same path you would walk on now? Well, I probably wouldn't have had to. I, I had to do this shit. I didn't want to, you know. Right. So, right. I'm probably maybe not. Honestly. Well, yeah. All right. Yeah, that's an interesting perspective. Yeah. Because uh, that's what my like. That's what my father tells me. He's like, oh, you know, if you were back home in the old country, you know, you'd you'd be married at like fifteen or something like yeah. that. You'd have like three kids already. You know, that'd be awesome. Blah, blah. And, and he's trying to like enforce that over here, and I'm like, Dad, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't work like oh, that. Oh God! <laughs> it work like yeah, that. I'll go find my wife yeah. on Tinder tonight. Yeah, why not? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh. Shit. All right, man. Well, I, I just wanted to call in and uh, say that, man. But yeah, it was a pleasure talking to you once For again. For sure, man. For sure. Appreciate the call. All right. Phone lines are open if anyone wants to call in. I think I'm gonna hop on Tinder right now. Try to find my wife. Sure, I'll find a classy girl on there. Hey, what's up, Jed? Mark. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on, bro? Hey, um, uh, yeah, I have a pretty big question to ask. Well, big for me because, um, uh, got on my mind. I wanted to get your opinion on this. I've asked this about everyone I could. Sure. All right, so um, about two years ago, I think it's been already, uh, me and my ex broke up. It was a mutual thing, you know, and uh, it was really at the time when uh, we had just graduated from high school, and um, I was going to college, and she wanted to go work, so we were going on different paths, and me, go, me doing all the schoolwork, I really didn't have a lot of time for her, and uh, that was really affecting her, because she's... Um, she was, uh, she's one of those girls, you know, like, it, like wants the attention, I guess, needy, you could yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, it's been, like I said, it's been two years, uh, since then. Kind of been thinking of sing being single, uh, with all this college shit going on. Yeah. And, uh, I've kind of been catching up, we've been catching up with each other lately, and I don't know, I've been thinking about, like, kind of want to hit it back off again, because, I don't know, I don't know, because, uh, I would maybe, like, uh, I kind of, I kind of missed an opportunity, not for like marriage or anything like that, but like a pretty good relationship. Because she was actually, um, you know, pretty pretty submissive with like doing stuff with each other. You know, we were, we were pretty cool with doing stuff with each other. We never really fought or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I've been thinking about if I want to like, back, you know, back with her. I was, I was uh, wondering what, what's your opinion on that on like guys going back with girls who, you know, really never fucked them over. It was just like, you know, I guess you say bad timing in their lives. Just about the end of there. Uh, what's your opinion on that, man? Uh, I would never go back to a serious relationship with them, but if you want to just do like a casual sex scene, sure. Yeah, that, that's kind of the thing. It's like, I, I have fun with her, you know, and I enjoy her company because she wasn't like a crazy bitch or anything like that. A little attention seeking, but not, nothing like crazy, you know? So it's kind of like, I, I don't know, I was just like, one, I was trying to figure out if I want to go back or not. Yeah, but okay, like so. Said, it's hard to find a, a good woman like that. A good woman who's, you know, like, Who's uh not a, what do you the word for it uh like crazy and trying yeah, to like get that, tough but... shit because she would never like that. Yeah, but that doesn't that still doesn't make her good enough to take seriously. That just means she's better than absolute garbage. That still doesn't make her serious relationship material. Oh, well, I'm not looking for a serious thing. You know, like what what's going on in the world? I don't think I'll ever get into a serious relationship. Like my brother's in a serious relationship and. Even then, I'm still not 100% sure on that. Yeah, him. well, then just like but, I said, have your fun and keep it casual. And that, that's all you got to do. Yeah. All right. Uh, 
question. Uh, I got a friend who's, um, her husband's in the Marines, um, and uh, they kind of uh, get back and forth by each other because she's trying to get used to this whole, um, you know, him being in the Marines. And yeah. They're always kind of together all the time. Now that he's not there anymore. It kind of gets to her now, yeah. and she gets a little pissed off every now and again, mm. which um, she's trying to change up it, as she said, because she's trying to be more because they want to get married. You know, I've met the guy too. Pretty good guy, you know. Uh, he's doing Air Force right now. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, I, I keep trying to give her advice, you know, because um, they don't fight often. But, like, you know, like I said, she's not used to not having him there. So it kind of gets her. So um, what kind of advice would you give to, like, anyone like that who's um, – when a man goes into, like, the Army or any kind of branch of it who's already with, like, a – in a relationship because they say, you know, like the hardest relationships are the ones who are in the military. Is that what you are planning to do? No, I'm not going to the military. No, that's not me. You just, just want advice for friend your friend. Yeah. Uh, Sorry? T- tell him to watch the movie Jarhead. <laughs> I have a feeling you're going to say that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tell him to watch that movie. I'd yeah, never take true. a chance like that, bro. Like, Oh my God. I I don't know, man. I mean, the way I see it, bro, American women are scandalous enough when you're with them in in the same city. Imagine being all the way around the world and knowing she's back home by herself. Uh, I don't know, man. All right. (laughs) What do you think? What do you think? uh, I'm asking you now. What do you think? What do I think? Yeah. Um, Well, I've known the girl longer, like, um, I've known her seven years since high school. Never had a thing for her. You know, it's just like one of those things where I share more as a sister. Yeah. But um, I met her boy um, when she introduced her to us and a couple of friends. Really cool guy. I like him a lot. You know, it was like I got to hang with him one time. He's a really down to earth guy, you know? Yeah. Um, personally, what I tell her is that, you know, she's really just got to learn to adjust to this, you know, because that was his choice. No, go but I'm do, saying, do, do you that, trust that, her? You know? Do you trust her not to cheat on him? Do I trust, um, actually, I know you're probably going to tell me I shouldn't, but I honestly do, like, with the, because she used to be, um, she was someone who could, like, you know, um, as, um, my dad would, as my dad would say about, um, uh, about most women I would meet, he would say, that's a girl you can tell can, like, you know, shake her ass and get what she wants, but that's how she was when she was younger, because she, she was this kind of person, like, was at a point in her life where she didn't give a fuck about anything. Like, so much shit happened. So she used I'm to be a hoe. So she story. used to be a hoe is what you're saying. Sorry, say that again? Couldn't hear you. So you're, she, you, she used to be a hoe is what you're telling me. Yeah, you could say that. And you're, you think now, because she got older, that she's magically not a hoe anymore? I guess you could say, uh... I don't know what you and you think it. now that she's an older hoe and she has a man that's halfway around the world and she has no one to give her attention that she's not going to cheat on him? I guess, yeah, I guess you could say I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt, even though I probably shouldn't or shouldn't at all. You shouldn't at all. Are, are you, let me tell you something, bro. If I put a gun to your head right now and I said, um, if this girl cheats on this guy at all while he's in the military, it's going to send a signal back here and the gun is going to go off and kill you. Would you be willing to bet your life on the fact that she's not going to cheat on him with a gun to your head? And then the moment she cheats on him, like the gun goes off and kills you. Like, would you be willing to take that chance? Do you have that much faith in her? Oh, I don't know. I don't even have that much faith in most of my family members. Exactly. So I think we've kind of figured out this, uh, this whole little dilemma then. All right. So he'll think, yeah, then. Nah, I just want to hear your advice on that one. Or not advice, more like uh, opinion on it. Reality, yeah. You know, because reality, yeah, there we go, reality. <laughs> it's not even my opinion, bro. It's just with the information you've given me, like this is what's going to happen. You know, you're telling me she used right. to be a hoe and she's just not going to be a hoe anymore? Are you kidding me? People tell me I believe in love. I don't believe in love, but, you know. No, I believe I in love. Like, Here's like the thing, bro. Here's the thing. I believe in love with women who were never hoes. I don't believe in love with women that have a bad, fucked up track record. You know? Right. 
If you got a dude, yeah. if you're if you're fucking, uh, let's say you're interviewing babysitters, right? And you're interviewing women, and one of them has been arrested like ten times for molesting kids and stabbing people and doing fucking heroin. Are you gonna trust her to babysit your kids, even though all that shit only all that shit happened ten years ago? Yeah, definitely not. Exactly. There you go. Case closed. <laughs> all right. Now, uh, last question. Yep. And it's kind of gonna go back to that topic as a. Uh, what do you uh, think of this whole idea when, uh, as some people have said, when a girl fucks a bunch of guys, she's a slut. When a guy fu- fucks a bunch of girls, it's cool. What's yeah. your take on that? Yeah, have you heard the whole uh, key and lock analogy? No, I haven't. All right. So a key that can open any lock is a master key, right? A lock that can be opened okay. by any key is a shitty-ass fucking lock. There you go. <laughs> That's probably the best thing I've heard all day. Yeah. All right, man. Thanks for giving me your uh, two cents on everything. Definitely. I appreciate it. Keep up the good work. Appreciate the call, man. Phone lines are open if anyone wants to call in.